Yep, welcome back to the channel. I have only a few days before we was thinking going to our trip on the vacation here. And I was under the car just uh, checking some other things. Uh, and then I see my uh, one of my shock absorbers on the Land Cruiser 120 series. I'll start uh, leaking oil. Then I have some new ones lying and I'm going to try to change it right away. In the front of the car I have put on a wheel stopper because I don't need the wheel on there, the jack on there. And I have this one I can put in. You see here? Shock absorber, up, it's rusted. And uh, yeah, just problem. So I have to try to get off this screw. That I think is going to be giving me problems. So I have to find another solution. I have seen other people also just cut it off. So I have to try to find my cutter and take off that. First I have to check that this screw could be opened. I was seeing that this bolt is 17 millimeter, loose and easy. So now I have to try to find a solution to get that one off. Then I'm just trying to cut off that nut because it's sitting too hard. I have a cutter with a metallic blade that I hope will do the job. And the new shock absorber have a new screw for the top. So that should be that one out. Then that one is off. Now I just have to check each parts are going over on the top. This one was on the top. And this part is under. So I just have to take out that and get a breaker bar or something maybe to get off the one down there. In there, there, I don't like to have the ad on the outside. There, come up there.
damn it. set it down far up there but now maybe too much so I just um, let it down a little because I need to get the screws and things up there I need to get this rubber part <coughs> I need to get that spot. Yeah, I need to get the bolt in. Now first I'm going to go and see which size this is. The screw on the top is 19 mm. Now it's looked as hard as I can go up there. Now I just have to remember to lock this. It was not tightened too hard, but up and locked on the top so the only thing every spawn say you need to try to hold back the one up there my part of this was completely trash I couldn't hold there but just take the cutter and cut off the shit try to save the other parts in there just take off that now new shock absorber here I can do on the other side. On the other side, just take up and check here. I'm going to change it anyway. And again, wheel is under. If you fall down, jack. I'm going to put the other jack in the back to lift up. Yeah. I started the rust up too. And you see it starting to leak oil too. So just do the same as the other side. See, loose enough. You see?
The screw is cut off, but now the rubber is uh, just melted a little, so it lock up on the rubber. I tried to take off uh, down first and see if I can tear it down. in that screw again that was 17 Lifting it up. Not to think about the things. This is going up in the center. Screw is going off. You see, I start to screw itself up right away. Here is going this metallic plate. You see, this rubber is going to go down there, but it was so little space up here. It's better to get this in before and then jack up more. See here, it's closing here. Yeah. See if I can get the screen. No, the screw will start to see it's going to enter. Just take it up here. See the screw is centering. And then it's just screwing it till it's completely finished up there. In there, just checking. <clears throat> yeah, just putting back the wheel. Yeah, yeah, it's on the right place. I forgot to say something. I need, of course, to. Uh, put on the lug nuts uh, at the proper uh, hardness, 120 newton meters. So I take my trusted uh, tool, set it to 120.
det. Det du det same on the other side. And then I can out take a test drive. Then I'm been out uh, testing the Land Cruiser with the new shock absorbers. Everything worked fine. And no knocking noises, no noises whatsoever from the car over bumps and things like that. So uh, I have seems like I get everything uh, as it should. The car look uh, yeah feels the same as it did before. Nothing special coming now. But it's better to change them when I start to see the old one leaking oil and the old one was so rusty. I can't understand that that uh, could have gone through the controls, but it have. So, but now at least they're completely new. So now I had, don't have to stress with that. So uh, please uh, like uh, the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And please come back and see more videos about this uh, Land Cruiser. I have... Uh, soon it's have to be 60 video only about the 120 series Land Cruisers and I have more than 400 videos out in the YouTube system so it start to be a lot so please come back please subscribe and please like my channel thank you